You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I'm going to welcome back Kelly Brotsman. Did I say it right? Yes, you did. Welcome, Kelly. Nice Thank to see you. Thank you very much. From Bridgewater State, but more importantly, the Martin Richard Institute. Yes, I'm the executive director of the Martin Richard Institute for Social Justice, which is in its inaugural year at Bridgewater State. Well, we're glad that it opened there. We're sorry there was a tragedy that caused it, but if you all remember the picture of Martin holding yes, up. Yes, most people will remember the picture of Martin holding up his poster mm -hmm. that said, Peace, No More Hurting People. And we have really a very great likeness, a statue of Martin holding his sign um, on Bridgewater State's campus. And it's very inspirational to students as they pass. They take good care of Martin and um, they had him with a Patriots hat on. They sometimes have him with a Santa hat on. And um, that statue is very well loved by our students on campus. Where are you located on the campus? We're located for now in the Burrell Office Complex, which is at 95 Burrell Avenue across from the Moakley Center. Okay. That's on the east side of campus. Okay. And the campus keeps getting bigger and better over the years. And under the leadership of Fred Clark and some of the yes. folks that are over there, it's a wonderful community partner. We just had the privilege of meeting um, Professor Chris McMillan. Oh, he came to our yeah. Bridgewater Rotary Club. Oh, and great. he's helping us with some, um, you know, discussions that we're having. He does strategic yeah. planning for the college. And yes. we were lucky enough to have him yeah. in live and in person. And he said he'll come back often so we're going to take them up on yeah. that. We're, we might even try to get we're him into the club. We're excited to have rolled out that new st institutional strategic plan. It's we amazing. We should bring you to the club, our Rotary Club. That would club, be great. So I would love talk to about come this. to the Rotary. So I'll, I'll yeah. talk to you afterwards. Anytime. So I'm looking at this Ed Justice 2018 series overview that starts on March 12th and goes to March 23rd. There is something for everybody here. There, there are is. day programs, there are night programs, there are afternoon programs. There are. Let's we have, talk about um, it. So from March 12th to 23rd, this is sort of our banner event. This is the Institute's banner event for the year, um, for our inaugural year. So this is sort of our grand opening. So we wanted to pull out all the stops and have a, a high intensity series of events. And one of the reasons we wanted to focus on, we're calling it hashtag edjustice because everything's cooler with a hashtag, don't you know? Sure. Yep. Um, is because, you know, Massachusetts gets a lot of really high marks for education. Uh, we routinely turn up in you know, newspaper articles as number one in education in the whole United States. Mm -hmm. But what's also true is that Massachusetts is a national leader in educational inequality. Um, and what that means is that our very high performing um, schools and districts and students are performing so high that in aggregate measures it sort of uh, it helps mask the fact that we um, have really uh, low performers at the other end. And so um, I think that fact is at least as important as the fact that we tend to score very high on these aggregate measures. So what we have is a, is a series of events, all of which are going to take on some aspect of justice or injustice in the American education system. Mm -hmm. So we have um, four lunch talks. And one of those is going to be on Monday, March 12th. All of these lunch talks are free and open to the public, and lunch will be provided. Um, we have a national expert named Monique Morris, who is an expert on how African-American girls get criminalized in American schools, usually due to dress codes. Um, and that's from 12 to 2 in our library um, at Bridgewater State. We have another lunch event um, with two national experts on urban inequality and young adults transitioning successfully to adulthood and how um, we can build resilience in our young adults for entering um, adulthood. And that's on Thursday, March 15th from 12 to 2 in our um, ballroom in the Rondolo Campus Center. Most of you probably know where that is. Mm -hmm. um, on Monday, March 19th, we've got a person from just up the road at Holy Cross, um, Jack Schneider, who's an expert on how these online school ratings tools like greatschools.org and so on, um, how those tools actually uh, impact residential segregation between races and between income levels. So that'll be really interesting. That's on um, Monday, March 19th from 12 to 2 back in the library, back in the Heritage Room at the library. And then the fourth um, lunch event is going to be a national expert on school choice and charter schools, um, Richard Kalenberg, who is going to be giving a talk about how we can get rich and poor children to go to school together, which as we know is a real um, is a puzzle that, that many states have failed to solve. And that's going to be in Wagen Hall, which is the big 
residence hall right by the train station. Okay. So we have four of those uh, sort of lunch and learn events come, mm -hmm. and there will be audience Q&A at all of the events. Um, local educators and local families, parents with, with children in the public schools may be interested in our town hall. We have a standardized, we have a, a town hall event scheduled on standardized testing. And the question, as you know, with high stakes testing is whether this really makes our schools better, whether it really, um, you know, punishes um, schools in certain ways, particularly our most disadvantaged schools. Sure. Um, so we have people who are on alternating sides of that issue, who are um, prominent state figures on this. And so we're going to have, that's going to be uh, very much like the presidential town halls that you see. People mm -hmm. will be able to ask questions um, of our experts. So we really encourage um, teachers, families, parents to come to that event on Tuesday, March 13th. And that's more of a late afternoon event from 4 to 530 in our Dana Muller Feria Math and Science Center Auditorium. And there will be refreshments there as well. Um, we're going to screen a couple of films, really important films, over the last few years. Um, you had mentioned that bullying is a, is a big, big issue topic. in the school committee where you serve. And um, we happen to have um, at Bridgewater the Massachusetts Aggression Reduction Center, which is basically a, um, a research center on bullying and how it is that, that bullying happens in our schools. And so we're going to screen the movie Bully, the documentary Bully, which um, came out a few years ago mm -hmm. and um, shows the devastating consequences of bullying on children, on schools, on families. And that will be on Tuesday, March 20th from 4.30 to 6.30, again in our Wagand Hall, the big residence hall by the train station. Um, and we'll have a post-film discussion on practical strategies that teachers, parents, families, and schools can adopt for reducing bullying. Um, the other film that we're going to teach may be interesting to folks who are associated with Massasoit. Mm -hmm. um, it's a film called Starving the Beast, which is a pretty recent film um, about the hi historic decrease of state funding for public higher education, both two-year colleges and four-year colleges. Um, and we will have um, a co-sponsor for that event, the Public Higher Education Network of Massachusetts. They call themselves Phenom. Right. Um, and they're going to help us with some social media activism after screening that film, sending our legislators messages on social media platforms about how important it is that they support public higher education. And we're going to screen that film on Wednesday, March 21st from 4 to 6.30 back in the Maxwell Library in our Heritage Room. And then we have a really special event, which is a, a spoken word poetry performance by Donovan Livingston, who was the viral YouTube sensation, mm -hmm. who gave the 2016 Harvard Graduate School of Education commencement address in the form of a spoken word poem. It was called Lift Off, and it got like two million views. Um, he has some amazing justice-themed um, spoken word performances. And so he'll perform for about an hour, and then we're um, hosting a contest for any member of the community um, to submit a spoken word piece of their own, an original piece, less than three minutes long. Um, and they're going to, and Donovan will award cash prizes. Um, and they were good cash prizes. I don't have time to go into them. No. Because I got the cue. <laughs> That's <But> right. Website, <laughs> phone number, Facebook. The best to... way to call us is to call 508 531 2199, which is the Institute's general number. Yeah. And the best way to find details on all of the events is on the Institute's Facebook page. On Facebook, we are uh, BSU Institute for Social Justice. If you just search BSU Institute for Social Justice, you'll find our page. You can like it. You can follow us. Uh, you can RSVP for events where we are requesting RSVPs, and you'll get all the updates that you need. Perfect. I could do a whole half an hour with you, but we got it all done in nine minutes. So That's thank right. you for being on, and we will be at some of them. And We'd we'll love to have as many Brocktonians as possible. Thank you. Thank you. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.